Now I know what you're thinking. How fast can Nathan get a hybrid Toyota Highlander around the racetrack? Well, we're not gonna find out today. This thing has nearly 90% battery in it and we're gonna take it around the track nice and slow, try to keep it in battery mode only and find out how far we can get it. It's about a mile track, so I'm gonna see if I can do a couple laps and we're gonna find out next. I've been hitting the EV mode. I've got just over 80%, I think, um, energy. So I'm just taking it nice and slow. No air conditioning, no radio, unfortunately. Um, if I keep it, there's a charge, eco, and then a power, right? So I was told that if I keep it in this certain band on eco, the gas engine won't kick on. Now this is the part that's interesting because we actually have a elevation grade that's a bit of an issue. Going down the hill though, it recaptures some of that scent energy and puts it right back into the batteries. This is fun! Damn it. I think I lost a bet. I didn't even lose a bet. That's the thing. I can't even think of what I did wrong to anger Roman to where he would say, you go in the car and take it around the track and have so much fun. Maybe they're mad because I took the Mercedes-Benz GL63 AMG around the track and I got it kind of sideways and made a lot of noise and stuff like that. This is, this is scintillating. Um, but hey, so far, I haven't touched the gas engine. I've been keeping it under 20 miles per hour. I've been told that that's around the speed that's considered kosher. No, the air conditioning's not on. I don't even have a fan on. Boy, it's taking those corners. Here we go, I got an idea. All right, just wanna make sure I, I do need to concentrate to make sure I keep it between charge and eco. Here's my idea. Ready? I can't do that for very long without getting a little dizzy. So folks, what you're looking at here is Toyota's hybrid Synergy Drive. More importantly, it's an Atkins Cycle gas engine that's hooked up to two electric motors. Now, what we're going to do today is we're not gonna worry about the gas engine. Overall combined output is 280 horsepower, which is awesome. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the gas element out. We wanna see around a one mile track, how far this baby will go on just electricity on a 90% charge and see if we can get, you know, a couple miles out of it. And remember, we have to go pretty slow so we don't engage the gas engine. <sighs> One lap almost there. I don't want to put down the window because that would be electricity going towards the window, right? <laughs> Look at me go! Yeah, there it goes. Sons bitches sit over there and point your cameras at me and doing this boring, boring, boring drag. Now I know some of you are going, okay, well why even bother if it's only going to be electric at you know, 20 miles per hour, how is that relevant to an electric car? 
because you never go 20 miles per hour. Aha! When you live in the city, and I come from Los Angeles, that's where I was born and raised, in bumper to bumper traffic, having a vehicle that's only using electricity when you're slogging through bumper to bumper traffic, averaging 10 miles per hour or whatever, it makes sense. But out in the country, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, even Denver, and Denver has just pretty good traffic. We're working up to two. It is about a mile around the track. So the thing is, I would say it's exactly a mile, but it's not because if you take like the long line through the track and go around the corners as opposed to cutting the apex and whatnot, you can actually extend that a little bit. So I'm trying to kind of average about a mile. Um, that's what it looks like I'm doing. So yeah, this is so awesome. Music. Music on my phone, but then we'd have to pay for it. Yeah, you guys wonder about our like musical choices. We don't really have the budget to hire Metallica and have them lay down a soundtrack for us. That would be friggin' awesome. At this point, I'd take just about any. <laughs> Even if you have somebody lay down a track for you, there's always some clown who says, oh no, no, that's my music. And then it's just, it's a long and painful process. Woohoo! About to do another lap. This represents two miles. The engine just came on right over there. So that's just under two miles. Yeah! Whoo! You suckers be down! All right, I'll be right back. Yeah! Accelerating! As a vehicle should be driven! Ah! Feels better already. You have 280 horsepower and you're just flying around a track at uh, 10 miles per hour, it, it grades on you. No, I'm not someone who can hypermile. I know there are people out there who can do that, and I'm sure they're smarter, better, friendlier people than I am, but damn it, when you go around a track and you're just humming around 10 miles per hour, and it's a racetrack, it's like, God, it sucks. I'm just going go around a track. Going around the track now. By the way, this is actually okay. Electric motors control the rear wheels, so it is an all-wheel drive vehicle. <laughs> it's, it's not very happy right now, but it's, I am. <laughs> Feels, uh, I forgot to turn on the AC, I gotta fire up the AC and the music. And just for the hell of it, I'll throw on the heated seats too. Yeah! That's better! That's how you drive a hybrid! We accomplished nothing today. I am not cut out for hypermiling. I, I'm, I'm not. I, that was the longest, All right. most... Ugh. How long do you think a lap took you, Nathan? One lap? Yeah, I had the stopwatch going. Uh, five minutes. No, you did it in three minutes. And three minutes. And 26 seconds. Three minutes and 26 seconds. Scintillating. And how far did you go on the charge? Uh, about two miles. Now, if you're curious as to the exact mileage, well, we don't know and we don't care, honestly. <laughs> we, can't, we just don't do that here. <laughs> Check out Clean MPG. Our friend Wayne does that. Yes, he does. He's much better at it, and yeah. that's a better place to go. And if you're curious as to why we didn't have a full charge, well, where are we going to plug it in? This is a Synergy Hybrid. There's no way to plug it in. We got as much juice into it, driving it here as possible, and so that's why we had 90% deal with it. Yeah, yeah, and, and on top of that, you may notice around here there's like oil derricks and whatnot, so what we thought about doing is to compensate for the amount of energy we saved and the green gases and everything else, I'm gonna light a tub of that on fire and just let it burn and have you people just look at the smoke going to the sky and I'm just gonna damage the environment a little bit more. I'm good. I'm sorry. I just, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I can't hypermile. Yeah, cleanmpg.com. Check it out. Much yeah. better place. As always, this is Nathan. And Roman saying thanks for watching. <laughs> and this has been a green TFL car.com. Don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> Ciao. See you next time. Bye.